Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. Last day, last review, we took a look at Warlock cards. Now we are looking at the new Warrior cards coming out in Skullamance Academy. We'll again be rating them on a five-star basis. Five stars being a god-tier card you would put into every single deck. One star being unplayable trash you would hate to take an arena. So let's get going. And again, we'll be reviewing these in Standard and Wild so you get the perspective of what should be good in either format. So we first will start off with Athletic Studies, a one-mana spell. Discover Rush Minion. Your next one costs one less. This is one of the better uh, at, like study cards because Rush Minions are really proactive. The average Rush Minion is very good and you can cheat it out proactively on your next turn or that turn depending on how things go. I think this card could see some play. Fringe play as a one of maybe. I don't know. It's just a good value card. And again, Rush Minions are just so good in the game. So I'm going to give it a three in standard. I think you definitely consider it in wild. I basically think would Odd Warrior run this? Because I don't think Dead Man's Hand Warrior would run it. No aggressive deck would run this. It's like, would Odd Warrior run it? And I don't think Odd Warrior would. It's not bad. It gives you a minion to play, but I don't think it makes the cut. It's close, but I'll give it a two for a while. I just don't think it's quite there. Next, we have Information. A two mana spell. Add two random top minions to your hand. Yeah, uh, this is one of the worst cards in the set. Two random top minions. I mean... The average top minion sucks, and you have no idea what the mana cost is going to be. It could be anything from a Tyrion to a Silverback Patriarch, and, you know, it's just, the variance is too high, that it's just not worth two mana draw, two random cards. It's, it's bad, one in standard, and even in wild, where you have the, the, the taunt quest, I still don't think you put it in there, because, again, you can get just unplayable crap, but it has more potential in wild because of that quest, so... I'll give it a two in wild for that. Maybe you throw it in there. Maybe. Next, we have cutting class. Five mana spell. Draw two cards. Costs one less per attack of your weapon. Uh, especially with the, the nerf to Corsair cash recently. The attack on weapons in uh, Warrior is not super high. And I don't think you want to be running like an upgrade buff, weapon buff deck at all in Warrior. In standard or wild. So I don't see this card making the cut whatsoever in either format. It just seems really bad. You have Battle Rage. It's like two mana draw four to five. Don't think you're running Cunning Class. So I'm going to give this a one in both Standard and Wild. Then we have Commencement seven mana spell. Summon a minion from your deck. Give it Taunt and Divine Shield. So in Standard we have a bit of big support. You have like Dimensional Ripper. But that's ten mana. And not much else. And I know Dexter loves his Big Warrior. And he likes to play it. But it's not good. And I don't think this is going to make this archetype much better. It makes it better, for sure, but not much. So I'm going to give it a two in standard. And while there's a lot more synergies, you have the recruit card. You have uh, Woe Cleaver, the big recruit weapon. And you can uh, maybe cheat this out in other ways, too. So in Wild, I think there's more potential. I want to try Big Warrior. It'll probably suck, but it's never felt super duper far off. It's, like, close, so... I'm going to go off on a limb. I'm going to I'm gonna be a little less strict and less serious. So I'm going to give this a three for wild. I'll regret that later. Next, we have Coerce. It's a three mana spell. Destroy a minion. Or destroy a damage minion or combo destroy any minion. So three mana execute. You already have access to execute. You don't want that. But if you combo, it can destroy anything. And that can be very powerful. Um, Odd Warrior might consider this in wild because you don't have access to execute and stuff like that. And in standard, like, a controlish warrior, maybe a bomb warrior could consider this. I don't think you want to run it in enraged warrior and things like that, but maybe you do. So, standard and wild, I'm actually going to give it a three across the board. I mean, it's just versatile. It's good removal. And, uh, yeah, it's just a good card. And next, we have shield of honor. One mana spell. Give a min damage minion, plus three attack, and divine shield. Enrage and Egg Warrior are super good in standard right now. And this card fits in there so unbelievably well, it's disgusting. Like, you hit this on an Egg, you hit this on whatever, Corcoran Elite. When you're doing your charge combo, you get more damage. You get Divine Shield, which is insane, and then you Bloodsworn, and it's... This card's crazy good. Crazy good in that deck. But not really good in any other deck that I can think of. It's not good at Bomb Warrior, Control Warrior, stuff like that. So that's the only thing keeping this from 5. It's only good in, like, 1 type of specific archetype but it's very very good in that de deck so we're gonna give it a four in standard in wild the enraged warrior stuff just hasn't taken off it just hasn't 
Even, like, the only skipper deck that really sees any play is Dead Man's Hand Warrior, which is, like, a tier 3 deck at best. And it doesn't really care about stuff like Shield of Honor. So, I'll give it a 2 for a while, just because it's a really good card, but it's not going to see play. Because that style of deck is just not good enough in Wild. It, it's, you can't really do that strategy and expect to succeed on a high level. Next, we have Reaper Scythe, a new warrior weapon. It's a 4 mana 4 2, so Death Bite stats. And Spellburst also damages uh, adjacent minions this turn. So you get a one-time, like, cleave effect uh, on this. So you get this off Corsair Cash. It's a 4-3 weapon. That's not bad. And I'm basically thinking, it goes into Corsair Cash deck. Do you want to run this over Ankar? No. Do you want to run this over the Lackey weapon? I don't think so. Do you want to run this over the Bomb weapon? Well, not if you're playing Bomb weapon. Do you, the Bomb, bomb Warrior. Do you want to run this if you're playing those weapons as well? I don't think so. I feel like this is a very good weapon, but again, you need the spell burst thing, and Warrior, outside of, like, the Inner Rage, Battle Rage stuff, they don't play a lot of spells to make this active, but in theory, it's a 4-mana deal 12 one time, right? It's a tough one to call. I feel like I was so wrong on a Super Collider, I don't want to make that mistake again. So I'm going to hedge my bets here and give this a 3 and say it might see a little bit of play, because, yeah, that, that effect can be very powerful. It's not making any minions attacking each other, but... It's got that wide effect, and uh, you can't... I guess you shouldn't underrate it, but yeah. I'll give it a 3 for uh, standard and wild. I have no idea what you're playing this in. Like, it just doesn't fit into any archetype there. And I don't think it's going to create a new one, so I'm going to give it a 2. Next, we have Lord Barov, 3 mana minion. Set the health of all of their minions to 1. Death Rattle, deal 1 damage to all minions. This card's crazy good in Warrior. Like, you have Whirlwinds, you have Bladestorm, you have Skipper, you have... So many ways to make this card work. It's so freaking good in Warrior. I'm giving it a 5. You're going to put this into basically every Warrior deck. Why? It clears the board with one Skipper. You play this, you play a Skipper and a 1-drop, you clear the board and you have the board. Like, it's so, so freaking good. And in Wild, it's a 5 in, like, Odd Warrior, Dead Man's Hand Warrior. Why wouldn't you run that? You're not playing, like, an aggressive Warrior, but... There's so many archetypes of warrior you can try and make this work with in Wild 2. This card is so insanely good. And yeah, I'm giving it a 5 across the board. Very, very powerful card. Next, we have Dr. Krastinov, 5 mana 4, 4. Rush minion. Uh, whenever this attacks, give your a weapon plus 1, plus 1. So in standard, we've seen green skin pop up in list to buff weapons. But other than that, not a lot of like upgrades are really used outside of Corsair Cache, of course, but that's more for the tutor. Of course, the upgrade's nice. Um, do you play it in a in a deck like that? I don't think so. I don't think it you do, but maybe in Bomb Warrior, where you do want to shuffle as many bombs as possible, you can consider it as a one-up. So I'll give it a three for that reason. It might pop up in that deck like Greenskin did. You might I actually would prefer running this over Greenskin. One of the parts I hated about Greenskin was drawing it off of my Ankar and not a skipper. Well, you don't draw this off of Ankar, so I think it might pop up in some lists there. In Wild, Pirate Warrior probably likes this. They really like to buff the weapon with Ankar. Uh, the Ankar weapon or the bomb weapon, they have a lot more upgrade ways, ways to upgrade the weapon, and this is just another one, and I think you throw it in there, so I'll give it a 3 in Wild as well. I think it pops up in Pirate Warrior. I, I don't see why not. Next, we have... Playmaker, it's a 3 mana 4, 3 minion. After you play a rush minion, summon a copy with 1 health remaining. So, you can play this with, like, Restless Mummy, and you get basically a 3-2 and a 3-1, and both will have Reborn. So, it's like 12 attack across two bodies for if you combo with that, or you combo with, like, say, the Prime, and you add an extra Prime into your deck. That could be very powerful. But you can't play this on 3. You really have to combo with one of those other cards, and that's an 8 mana play. I think that kills the card dead in the water. I, I don't see this card working. It's very expensive, and you can't ever play this and hope it lives and then combo with it. So I'm going to give it a 1 in Standard and Wild. It's so greedy. It's so expensive, and you don't need that. What deck do you need that value in? I, I just don't see it. I don't. Next, we have Ceremonial Maul. It's a 3-mana 2-2 two -two weapon. Spell burst. Summon a student with taunt and stats equal to the spell's cost. I thought this card was bad in Paladin. It's even worse in Warrior. <laughs> like, you have way better weapons in Warrior, and you don't care about this effect almost at all. I'm giving it one in Standard and Wild. I can't imagine this card ever sees play in a Warrior deck, ever. Next, we have Steel Dancer, 4 mana, 4, 4 minion. Battlecry, summon a random minion with, uh, with cost equal to your weapon's attack. If Corsair Cash hadn't been nerfed, I think this card it would have a realistic play. 
pro pro probability being seen play. You cash on two, you play your weapon on three, which would be three attack, and you play Steel Dancer on four, and that's pretty good. You get a four, you four, four, and a three drop. That's really pretty good. Um, now you have two attack weapons on three, and this is not this is not good. And you can play like the uh, Wrench Caliber on four. That's a three drop too. That's not good enough because it doesn't curb well. And you have Reaper Scythe, right? But again, that doesn't curb well. So I think this card's dead in the water in Warrior. In Standard and Wild, I'm giving it a one. I don't see this ever seeing play. Unless they get a cheap big weapon at some point. But I don't see that happening. Next, we have Trouble Maker. Eight mana, six, eight minion. At the end of your turn, summon two, three, three rough reans that attack random enemies. What the hell is this card? It's a six mana, 12, what, 12, 14? With snowballing recurring effects. Like, if this survives, the 3-3s three will come back out and attack again. And that can hit anything. This card just seems ridiculous. This is like an arena killer. You get this in arena, oh my god, you win. Um, but in standard, I don't know what deck runs it, but the card is so ridiculously good. I don't see how it doesn't pop. Like, in a bomb warrior deck, why not? But this is like a one of as a bomb in there? It's crazy. Again, pardon the pun, but... Holy crap, this card just seems ridiculously powerful. The The problem is it's 8 mana. You can't cheat it out. and it's But it does have an immediate effect, and you have to kill this. You cannot ignore it. So, I'm going to give it a 4. It just seems so ridiculously good. And all the warrior decks that can gain a bunch of armor, they can stall to the point of this game and have a decent board position where you play Troublemaker. And How are you coming back from that? I don't know. I'm giving this a 4 in standard and wild. It's 8 mana. It's too slow, but I was talking about that big warrior deck. This is a card. I would consider throwing that in there. And if I think that other spell is good enough to give it a uh, 3, I'm going to give this a 3. I want to try and make big warrior work. It's not going to work, but I'm going to try. I don't care. Bias. Let's do it. And lastly, we have Rattle Gore. 9 mana, 9-9 nine, nine legendary minion death rattle. Resummon this with minus 1, minus 1. So it's been confirmed that if it dies, no matter what, if it dies and hasn't been silenced, it will come back as a 9-9 nine, nine, and then an 8-8. Eight, eight. So you can, like, Hunter's Mark it down to 1 and then kill it. It's not going to come back as, like, an 8-1. That doesn't work that way. It's a 9-9 nine, nine into an 8-8 eight, eight to 7-7. Seven, seven. So there's a lot of stats to go through. Thing is, you have to pay 9-man for it. And it does absolutely nothing. It's just a big boy. And in Standard, that's not going to cut it. It's not going to work. It's a really cool card. And I want to see what the animation looks like and what sounds he makes every time he dies. But... It's not gonna see play. I just it's I would be shocked. I know you could try and do the big warrior thing, but I don't think it's good enough in, in standard, so I'm gonna give it uh I'm giving it a one. Like you just can't play this. It's gonna be the most frustrating thing when your opponent evolves into it. But I can't see you see him playing. So I'm gonna give it a one standard. And in wild, I don't even think you play this in the big deck, because you wanna cheat up big taunts and stuff and things like that. So I'll give it a two there. Just because it is you can cheat it out a lot easier in wild. So there's a lot more possibilities for it, but even there. Don't think the possibilities are enough to make it a playable ladder card. So there you have it. There are my ratings for all the Warrior cards. Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree? Disagree? Always love to read the comments. Always an interesting debate. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Make sure you get your notifications on because there will be the Demon Hunter review next. And they'll be moving on to neutrals. Have a great day. And stay salty, my friends.